Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an electric Midland Community Stadium. It is the 48th city championship game, the Midland Chemics versus the Dow High Chargers. Both teams 7-1 coming in. Both teams red hot coming into this game. And uh, this is Dave Marsh bringing you the action tonight along with the old ball coach, Frank Aldemore. And uh, coach, man, this is what it's all about. Dave, there is such an sense of energy and buzz tonight if you were if you are not here by now you do not have a seat you don't it is standing room only it's it's a beautiful evening uh, the crowd is just about everywhere and there is just some excitement in the air and there's a still a huge line of people waiting to get their ticket to get in and they're they're gonna be standing around the fence well the uh, tailgaters have got to get here fast <laughs> yeah because this place is packed. It's been uh, about an hour ago, it was half full, and uh, just huge anticipation to this game. You have met the Dow High Chargers, winners of four straight in the rivalry, seven and one coming in. They've won six in a row. They were the champions of the Saginaw Valley League Blue Division. Meanwhile, Midland High lost their first game and has reeled off seven straight to finish finished seven and one they're the champs of the red division and so it's almost like a true league championship exactly. game not to mention the throw the old throw out the records this is midland dow well dave the most important thing is here both teams have made such significant strides this season from the beginning of the year uh, i did not think both teams would win their division at the, at when i saw them earlier in the year but today have both so much as the year has gone on and have defeated some pretty good football teams along the way. So we're going to go right now to our uh, keys to the game. And uh, up first is Dow High and uh, we're going to first with Midland High. First off, we have to consider the fact effective possession. And this is what Midland has done all year. They have taken the ball and they have kept the ball. And they keep the ball and they drive down the field and they score and then you don't get the ball back. If you, uh, you've got to match them possession for possession and their defense doesn't let you do that. Number two, it is a field position game for them. They want to force you back in the corner. For example, they won the toss, elected to kick. Uh, and as a result of that, they want to force you back and force you to kick and then they get the ball somewhere around midfield. And third, they must make the quarterback move his feet. Tonight, Dow's quarterbacks are throwing at a 60-plus percent completion rate, uh, but they stand in that pocket and go. For the Chargers, they got to score 40 points. If they don't score 40 points, they're not going to win the ball game. And that's a hard uh, statement to make, but I really, as I looked at the film and looked at the season, I'm saying you got to score 40. So you have to have that score 40 philosophy. They must protect the quarterback because, again, Midland is going to come after the quarterback and they must limit the number of turnovers. I, I don't think they can completely eliminate those turnovers, but they must limit them and not give Midland the ball inside uh, their 50-yard line. Score 40 points, huh? Wow, that's I a, know. I know. That's a big one right there. So we, um, the teams are about uh, getting on the field, preparing for Anthem. Midland High is uh, already lined up on the visitor side. Remember... Dow High is the home team tonight, and uh, here they come onto the field and uh, ready to line up and uh, and just get ready for this game. There's just, uh, you just know the players are just completely jacked up right now and just ready to get after it. And so we are going to send it on down to the field as the Dow High marching band will uh, perform our national anthem. And now, if you would please stand, gentlemen, remove your hat, as we invite all of you to raise your voices and sing with the band to honor our country, as Mr. Dries leads the Charger Marching Band's performance of the Star Spangled Banner.
Outstanding job by the Dow High Marching Band honoring America with the national anthem. And uh, we'll head off the field and teams will head on. And so look at some of the statistics coming into this game. And um, coach, we were looking at that uh, to start off. And amazingly, uh, offensively, Midland and Dow are separated by 12 yards of total offense, yards. almost identical offensive statistics. And then scoring was other key one. Dow is allowed 104 points, Midland 111, so almost uh, identical there too. Um, Dow has uh, two, 293 yard, uh, points scored, so they're uh, very uh, strong offensively, capable of that 40 points you were talking about, but they're gonna have to do it against a, a stingy Midland high defense. They're gonna have to do it against the best defense they will see all year. Midland uh, number one in the SVL Red Division um, allowed just 1,897 yards on the season. And uh, can some of the key players, uh, Cade Metner is the quarterback, senior quarterback for Midland High, and he's a guy that, I don't know if the league gives the most improved player, but he'd be a candidate. Absolutely. He has uh, improved week by week and uh, to become really um, one of the top QBs in the league. He's uh, throws uh, 56, uh, per complete 56% of his passes, 1,125 yards, 14 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Where meanwhile, Dow High has kind of got the two-headed monster at quarterback Shane A. Strike and Ben Zeitler. Um, a. Strike more of the thrower. Um, he's thrown a. Uh, 107 times completed 70, 14 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Zeitler, a little more of a runner, but he has completed 75% of his passes. 449 yards, nine touchdowns, one interception. So See, interesting dynamic. Well, here. you've got a team like Dow that scores easy touchdowns, and that's exactly what Midland's got to fight off. So we are underway. Dow High taking the opening kickoff and uh, hauled down by Mitchell Reed was uh, Chase Perry after a decent return to get him get out to about the 22 yard line. We'll that was it. a terrific, that was a terrific play by Mitchell Reed because I like to tell you, Dow had set up a beautiful wall and if he uh, got behind the wall, Mitchell Reed doesn't break through, that could have been a big return. So A strike will start off at uh, quarterback for Dow and uh, um, Dow's offense is one of those where you just got to be ready for anything. And uh, their offensive playbook is vast. So in motion goes Brennan Doyle, and there's a flag on the play. Ball start against the Chargers. That is nervousness. I was going to say, are guys just amped up that much? They that, get uh, amped up, and, and you know, you like to do the motion because you want to see the coverages and how they're going to handle you but it also leads to that little bit of nervousness where a lineman will move because there is movement on your side of the ball. Not a good start for Dow. Th those mistakes are killer mistakes against a good defense. Kate Skinner, number 85, split wide to the left. Doyle again in motion out of the backfield. A strike back to pass. Little screen pass, wide open. He's got room to run. Big gain for the Chargers, still on his feet. Still on his feet, he could go. No, they're gonna say he stepped out of bounds at the 48 yard line, but that is uh, Nick Soraki, the junior, just a tremendous runner. Okay, we're gonna see Soraki come out of the backfield here, come out into the flat and make the play. There he is, just a little slide right there. There he's out of the backfield, catches the ball. Excellent. Uh, uh, two players knock off each other. And now Soraki goes down the sideline, out of bounds on the 48. Excellent uh, execution on that play. Well, well conceived. Soraki comes in the game uh, second in the league with uh, 30 catches for 614 yards, eight touchdowns to his credit receiving. Almost made it nine. First and ten Dow. And he straight back to pass. All kinds of time, and then he is thrown down. I think that's Walker. Vaughn Walker. Walker. And, and 
nobody has been able to stop Von Walker. I mean, you sometimes you think about double teaming a guy, but if you stand back in there, I mean, A Strike has to have a clock in his mind as to what's going on. He can't stand there that long. Remember I told you about the idea of moving your feet. Right. Well, he didn't move his feet. Not only didn't he move his feet, he, you got to fight off of Von Walker on the outside. Six yard loss will bring up second and 16 for Dow High. And uh, a strike back to pass. Comes back the other way. Oh, wow, wide open again. A, uh, another great play call. Evan Mativa was open, but uh, A strike just overthrew him. Bring up third and 16. Well, you can pretty much see Dow's early philosophy, and that is throw short, let your receivers run with the ball. That was a, a good play call, uh, just a little bit behind the receiver. Defensive line for uh, Midland, besides Walker, Matt Ware, Cam White, Sam Hine on that uh, the front, uh, trying to stop Dow here on third and 16. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. And Dow's gonna call a timeout. They wanna make sure they get this one right. Once the coordinator, uh, John Streeter, who has uh, got a lot of uh, tricks up his sleeve. We talked about it in their last game. You'd watch Dow and you'd say they have a bunch of trick plays, but it's not really trick plays. It's, it's just what they part do. of their offense. And uh, you just see it time and again where it's maybe not your uh, conventional plays, but uh, they mix it up very well. Well, I hate to see confusion timeouts early, and that was one right there. You could see that they were uh, going to be in trouble. Somebody was not. Somebody did not line up in the right spot, and the quarterback was unable to run the play. So, for 18, Alex Doty will be uh, in the slot along with 22 Doyle, 15 Alec Reisig, and split out left. Caden Skinner, the senior, number 85. This is an opportunity here for Dow's favorite play, and that is that uh, tunnel screen that they throw out to the wide receiver. Gonna go deep instead, under throws him, but it's a little contact down there. He underthrew the ball. He may have figured it wasn't catchable, but uh, it, uh There's no uncatchable in high school. <laughs> so that's, uh, I just, that was an interesting call. I guess they were called it incidental maybe, there, but. Yeah. Um, so. The one thing is the screen pass did give an opportunity for Dow to flip the field. Right. So now, we're going to see what happens with the punt, but where Midland's going to be able to start their drive. So Martin Money, number 21, and Zach Servinsky back to receive. Nice long punt, fair catch called for by Money at the 22-yard line. Nice punt by Zach Kuhn, the junior. And uh, good distance, no return. And uh, uh, Midland High will take over for their first possession. Uh, Dow High with that big play to start the game, but then uh, it was not a, that was not a good possession. I mean, you, they, they, in essence, would have started their drive on the 48 and then stalled on three uh, incomplete plays. So for Dow, that was not as successful. Remember I told you about the key is effective possession. Right. So for Midland, now we'll see what happens here. So Cade Metner, the quarterback, is by himself in the backfield. Money out to the right, money will go in motion. It's a jet sweep to money. He's got room to run, he cuts it up. Big gain, first down Chemex. For money is finally hauled down. Martin Money um, is uh, is a load as a running back. He, he gained almost 800 yards this year. Money goes in motion here and gets the handoff. And when that happens, we're gonna see him getting around the corner. But boy, look at the convoy of blockers out there and an excellent block out on the perimeter. Gage Allen is and uh, Cameron White on the offensive line leading the way. So first down for Midland on their very first carry. Metner's gonna keep it. He's gonna maybe get a yard, but an excellent defensive play by Connor Moe. The key to Dow, 
money is going to get his yards. You have to accept that. But the key for Dowd in this game is to stop Cade Methner from running the football. It's okay if Cade Methner throws the football, but he can't run and throw. Last week, he was responsible for 300 yards himself, 200 passing and or 200 plus passing. Pitch left to Money, cuts it up. He's going to gain a couple. That was really a good play of of Dow stringing that out. Midland's been very successful with that pitch to the left. Ethan Vollmering, the left tackle for Midland, has been so good getting out onto the perimeter with that. Vollmering is the left tackle for Midland. Number 51, James Harris, is at center. And will bring up third and eight for Midland. Watch Carter Grove. That's number 14, Carter Grove. Metner fires, and he's got his man. That's Grove, just like he called it. Still on his feet. He could go. Grove all the way down. Touchdown, Chemex. Wow, Coach, you called that one. He he uh, beautifully floated ball to Grove, and then he just sprinted down the sideline. Well, what Metner's done to make him successful is he throws the guys who can catch. Right. He does not throw the guys who can't catch. And this is a hard thing to teach quarterbacks if a guy can't catch the ball, don't throw to him. You're going to see Carter Grove come out, run right into the flat, and be able to catch the ball here. Nice break on the ball. Nice he catch pass. The uh, defensive back for Dow got underneath it and didn't make the play. Extra point is good. Mitchell Reed with an excellent block to spring him for the touchdown. And so Midland, just like that, uh, is on the board taking a 7-0 lead with 9.02 to go in the first quarter. We talked about big plays from Dow, Midland, uh, with uh, some explosion of their own. Remember what I told you here. This is where he comes out, but watch this. This doesn't happen underneath. You got to get underneath that guy. That was a, a, a real breakdown in the coverage for Dow. Actually, Reed took out two guys with that block, Reed Coach, did. and uh, that turned it from a first down into a touchdown. Reed is another one of those that you like to throw to because he does catch the ball. Yeah, Reed, we've seen him play. He's a, but a, he's a baller. That was a perfectly thrown ball. It was. It was thrown to the outside. It was a very catchable ball, and it was perfectly thrown. And uh, Carter Grove knows what to do when he catches the football. He knows where the end zone is. Sprint down and score. Thomas Schwartz, number five, with the extra point for Midland. And he will kick off for the second time here um, with Midland on top. Long kick's going to sail into the end zone. There's a flag on the play. Midland must have. I believe there's a flag on the play. And coming to do that one over again. I don't see a flag, but they uh, whistled at the play dead. Maybe he just kicked it before it was uh, whistle, uh, whistled ready. I think it is. He's kicking from the 40 again. Yeah, Carter Grove, that was his seventh touchdown on the season. He came in to the game with 26 catches. For 463 yards, 17.8 yards per reception, he improved all those numbers with that one play. Fielded at the eight-yard line, and good coverage on the kick again by Midland High. Outstanding it's Ryan, coverage. Ryan Sasitki, number 24, coverage. on the tackle. It was Chase Perry, the junior, with the return. Dow will uh, start things off here right at about the 20-yard line. Sasicki is safety for Midland. Christian Gordon, number 10, also at safety. Zach Zervinsky, number 25, and Jacob Gamola. Or Zervinsky is number 23. Gamola is number 25. He is uh, also cornerback. Linebackers, Jesse Hayes, number 31. Mitchell Reed is number one. And uh, Andrew Capua, 15, is at middle linebacker. A little shovel pass. Uh oh, there he goes. That's Soraki, and he is being chased down, but he's not going to be caught. That's a bread and butter play for Dow. 
That little uh, shovel pass and right up the middle, he goes untouched, does Siraki. So another <laughs> big play in this ball game early on. Wow, coach, what is going on? <laughs> Listen, remember? Okay, so here he comes in motion. He gets a little toss and he runs right up in the chute. It's unbelievable. The entire Midland defense overruns him. And now he runs past everybody and he is gone. He was not touched. We know Siraki's got breakaway speed and he proved it right there. Extra point is up and it is good. That is Zach Kuhn. And Dow responds about 16 seconds later. Wow, I tell you, we're in for a night, aren't we? Wow, we made both teams get 40 at this rate. Um, Okay, so there's a beautiful move here by, and you're gonna see right here how the Midland uh, defense overruns the play. Dow gets out onto the blocking, and there's an excellent block by 73 right there, and then Soraki just runs. Now, re what you wanna consider is this. Midland plays 11 guys five yards from the ball. So therefore, if you do break that line of penetration, there's you're nobody gone. there. Especially when you have that kind of speed. So the offensive line for Dow is uh, uh, off to a great start. That play, they just uh, were uh, wreaking havoc. Shane Oscarverick, number 62. Uh, Aiden Belgiorno is number 65. He's just a sophomore. Nathan Benchley, Aaron Galvin um, on that offensive line for the Dow High Chargers. And here we go, back to Midland High. And it's Grove is gonna field it at the seven. He's got room to run, there's a flag on the play. He's it's gonna come back, there's a block in the back. A good return by Carter Grove, but it was uh, sprung uh, with a block in the back, back at the 20 yard line. This is such an awful penalty because you have great field position and now not only do you get the penalty, but your field position is yeah. in deep trouble because it's gonna go, it's, it's a 30 yard 20. swing. It's, it's absolutely terrible for a play. It's gonna go back to the 10 yard line. It's the 10 instead of the uh, 40. If you can't block his numbers, you don't block them. You can't block the front of his jersey. You just don't block him. Happens right in the middle of the field, right there. Yep, it was uh, Connor Moe, number 44, is set to make the tackle. He got, took a block in the back. So first and 10, Kemix. Money takes it up the middle. He's gonna drive ahead for a couple. Good job by Dow. Caleb Studebaker. Um, among the Chargers in on the play. It, that uh, Dow's defense stood tall in the first series other than the uh, sweep by money and the uh, touchdown pass. So, I mean, Dow, Dow's defense has got to step it up and make this possession count for them. And there's the pitch. Pitch right to money. He's got room to run. And he's, there he goes down the sideline, cuts back. Oh, and he punishes the tackler. That is a classic Midland pitch right there. They uh, got the block on the outside and he just, uh, money is that combination of, of I want speed you to watch 64 come out around the corner and lead money. That's Cameron White. He just um, stayed with his block. And uh, Doyle uh, gets the tackle took the brunt of the blow there. Well, just like that, it's almost back to where the kickoff return was, out to the 37 yard line. Money is a, uh, he's got speed and uh, he has power. And this time Midland, I think is gonna call timeout. So both teams uh, burning one of their timeouts here in the early going. 7.59 remaining in the first quarter. We're tied up at seven with uh, well, uh, back want, and forth play. You want to consider this, you know, and I'm critical sometimes of timeouts because of confusion. 
but one of our keys is effective possessions, and therefore you can't waste a possession. You can, you can see it right here. You cannot waste a possession in this game right here. Dow lost its first possession, Midland scored. Dow came right back and scored. So what's gonna happen in this, you just cannot waste a possession. The interesting thing is last week, uh, the Lapeer game where two possessions per quarter by each team. Oh, wow. It was, it oh, was just time-consuming? Time-consuming time drives. Now, those were effective possessions, but... Boy, Dow is just jamming that line of scrimmage right there. Metner's going to run it. He's got room. Drives ahead for about nine. Nice run by Metner. Got a little crease and uh, just slithered through it. He does run in, that, in he runs in small spaces, which is uh, a, a credit to him. He finds that small space. He makes himself skinny, gets through it, and then he's a very good runner, very aggressive runner. Metner, 420 yards rushing and eight touchdowns via the ground this year coming into this game. Second and one, Metner back to pass. He's gonna go deep for Grove and he's, oh, he dropped it, another, a well-thrown ball. Pretty good coverage out there by Perry. Uh, Grove just unable to hang on, but a pretty nice pass by Bentner. On the defense who uh, is gonna be called upon on this third and one situation. Um, Siraki plays out there on D. Mentioned Evan Mativa, the sophomore, number 34. He's a load at linebacker for Dow High. Connor Moe, 44, number 50, Alex Jonas. Uh, out there for, for Dow. Third and one. Metner's gonna keep it and spin ahead. He was met at the line of scrimmage, but did a good job to spin and get the first down yardage. That's good extra effort out of Metner. Good defense by Dow, but you know that was the play that was gonna happen. Shane Uskverik is the, uh, on the initial hit, gets the tackle, but the chains move and uh, Midland takes it out to their own 48 yard line. And this this is what Midland does. They take the ball and they keep it away from you. Pitch right to Money. He's got room to run, cuts up, nice cut. Still on his feet and he's gonna get another first down. They got that pitch game run uh, running well tonight so far. Well, we're gonna see this, this lineman right here, which gives it to Money on an easy toss, and very poor play of the outside linebacker for Dow, because you've got to stretch that out. You cannot allow that to be turned up. What Midland wants to do on their pitch is they want to lane it up, and that's, that's a key element, laning it up. Well, there is a, uh, I don't know if it's a late flag, we just didn't see it, but there's gonna be a holding penalty on Midland. It's gonna negate the first down, and march back uh, 10 yards. It'll well, be first and 19. On the pitch before, there was a hold, and it wasn't called. So that changes things dramatically from first and 10 in Dow territory to first and 19, all the way back to the 39-yard line. Metner checks his wristband for the play. Money goes in motion. Metner's going to keep it. Nowhere to run, that's Mativa. I think Tiva was uh, keying on Metner that time and uh, threw him down for no gain, second and 19. Tried to catch him by surprise, ran everything to the left side, had trips left, put money in motion to left, but uh, good solid defense by the Chargers to stay home on that run. Now money is split out to the right here. Trips left, Matner back to pass. It's under pressure, he's gonna take off and run. He's got rooms. Tripped up at about the 50. Decent gain on second down. It'll bring up a third and eight for the Chemex. Now this is a point here. You cannot allow, you, you must have a spy on Metner in a passing situation. Because if you've got everybody covered, he's a very good runner. So we see in this situation right here, where Dow doesn't really have anybody on him. They lose their linebacker. 
Third and eight for Midland. Five and a half to go in the first quarter. Mettner back to pass. Four man rights. It's a screen. Oh, and Grove had it. That was going to be a big gain. He just started running before he caught it and drops the ball. Oh, my. That's a big play, Coach, because he, uh, he had a lot of green in front of him. That was a very good call. Very good call. So instead of a big gain on third, Midland will punt it away. Martin Money is the punter. He will be uh, kicking um, the line of scrimmage the 50 yard line. Chase Perry back deep. Money high, long kick. He's gonna let it bounce. Takes a chemic bounce and it's gonna roll dead at the five. What a punt by Money. Great field position for Midland to pin Dow back that far. But Dow stopped Midland's possession. So it's now 2-2. Two -two. That's right. They're even. 5-14. I'm, I'm a big believer in this, in this game right here. What you do on your possessions is everything. 5-14 to go in the first quarter. So even, you're saying, even if Dow doesn't score on this, if they can flip the field, flip the field get out to the 40 or so. And, uh, and not, you gotta get, you can't allow Midland to have the ball in a position where they have four downs. Because they will score. They will continue to pound at you and score. Because Methner is such a dangerous runner. Dow doesn't have that ability. Dow's ability is in throwing the football. They strike the quarterback. Soraki in motion, looks down the right side. I think he got hit as he was throwing it. I think that was Walker again. Walker, a familiar He's name. Got to get some help on Walker. He just got his arm around there, and you've got to get help on Walker. The Walker brothers over the last oh. few years have uh, wreaked havoc they have. for opposing quarterbacks. Second and 10 from the six. The packed Midland Community Stadium. If you look at the end zone, they're about five deep watching this epic game. Fake handoff, now a little spinner pass. He tries to get it in the flat, he catches it. This is Siraki, but he's gonna lose three or four yards. They tried that same play where he slipped out of the backfield, but it was better covered by Midland. Fake the handoff. Fake the handoff. Here's a little screen. And Midland picks it up beautifully. Beautiful job there. And so we'll bring up a third and long. That was an excellent play by Jesse Hayes. Number 31 for Midland. So here we go, third and 14 from the two. Back to pass, he's gonna fire deep. He's got his man, Skinner has it, and he's gonna be out of bounds. But I believe he's gonna get the first down. An excellent play by Dow. Beautiful see, ball and a great pattern. See, I Skinner. really think Skinner is, for Dow, Skinner is the key. He makes great plays, he has great hands. He's gonna come down, he's gonna stop. Get the first down, outstanding pass here to Skinner. There's the first down right in the corner and he gets just enough to get there. Big play. That's that was a huge a big play. Because that's where, that's that Midland stops and they're gonna get the ball in Dow territory. But instead Dow uh, continues the drive. Soraki in motion, that puts four people to the right. A blitz, Soraki reads it, it's gonna take off. Hit hard, out of bounds. But he's gonna pick up decent yardage on first down, maybe about five. Let's call it six. I think he did, that was a read by a, um, a strike when he saw the blitz coming, he just uh, took off because he had uh, room to run. Heads up play by the junior quarterback. Okay, very complimentary of Midland's defense. They come after you so hard. You, you have to be ready for their intensity. Second and four. 
So Rocky in the backfield takes the handoff. And oh man, what a tackle by Walker. It looked like Soraki was about to uh, find a hole and take off and uh, Walker showed great strength. Grabbed his jersey and hauled him down. That's Walker being Walker and Soraki being Soraki. Yeah. I mean, right there, you can see it. Here comes Walker out, gonna come off the corner here and make the play. Still a first down for Dow, they move the chains. Here he comes, he's gonna reach right back, grab the jersey, that's a great oh individual goodness. effort. He dove at him and just grabbed his green jersey. First and 10, Dow. Out to the right, Skinner drops it. There's a flag on the play. It's probably gonna be a hold. It was thrown by the umpire, which is almost always holding. Um, Skinner unable to hold on to that one. It wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered anyway. It is a hold on Dow. Uh, now here, here's a key thing, Dave, and, and as we look at this game, can Dow's offensive line match the intensity of Midland's defensive line? Now we're seeing Midland's defensive line being very powerful right now, coming so hard. Can Dow match that intensity? That's the, uh, so far, you'd have to say yes. I mean, they've just come up uh, with well-executed plays. This one's gonna go way back. Wow, all the way, it's gonna bring up a first and 23 from the 17 yard line. Oh, that's a big penalty. But Dow is more than capable of picking up big chunks. That's Skinner on the sweep, drives ahead. Decent gain on first down. He just followed his blockers and uh, drove ahead for about seven yards on the play. It's kind of a jet sweep. Jet sweep to the wide receiver, Skinner. Mativa, number 34, into the lineup for Dow. It'll bring up uh, second and 18 from the 24. Just sense Dow would be, try to get eight there, get try another get 10, half, get another 10. Try to get half of it and then go to the next one and get. It's that little uh, screen you're talking about. Skinner's got it, and he's gonna do just that. Pick up about half the yardage to out to the 36. Another well-executed play. You get a first and 20. This is this is a bubble screen, uh, tunnel screen, uh, whatever he wanted. He takes a little move in here, catches the ball. Now he gets up into that shoot. Third and six. Mola made the tackle on that play for Midland. Big play here for both teams. Soraki into the backfield. He's gonna take the handoff, and not this time. Excellent play by the Midland defense. Number, uh, number 10, Christian Gordon muscles him down. See, I, I don't understand. I, I can appreciate going to run the ball, but they don't get in there and, and clean it out, and they just get stuffed in the backfield. Heck of As a play I say, by Gordon. you need to be ready for the intensity of the game. Jacob Gamola also in on the tackle, and but now punt, but they do uh, change field position with that. Flag on the play. If that's a... Is that a delay? It's a timeout. Time okay. Timeout Midland. So Dow will, will punt it here. I think they're, what the timeout might be to watch for a fake. I'm thinking at uh, fourth and five. But folks, you're watching this Midland High versus Dow football game on MCTV, Charter Communications, Cable Channel 189 in Midland. You can also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. Game will be ca ta cable cast on uh, this coming Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. As you can see on your screen, also October 21st. Uh, that is Saturday, 
and uh, Friday night at 11.30. More dates and times to follow on MPS TV 190. And so the Chargers will punt Money and Servinsky back deep to receive the punt for the Chemex. Takes his time, let us be kind of a short kick. Servinsky takes it on the run. Heads up play by Servinsky. There was nobody out there. It's almost like people expected a fair catch. A short punt and uh, excellent return into Dow High territory. Well, this is kind of interesting. Uh, Kuhn, the kicker, stands here. He's going to wait. But then the pressure comes, and the, the, the defender for Kuhn gets knocked back into him, and that's what caused the poor kick. He kicked off the side of his foot, which went outside of the coverage and the heads up play by Zach Servinsky now this down to the 40. This is dangerous times for Dow. Right here, this is dangerous times. This is where Midden likes to go for it. 133 to go in the first quarter. Fakes the pitch. Metner's gonna keep it, run up the middle. Gonna get about five. A nice tackle by uh, Studebaker. Last week was the first time we saw that against Lapeer. Fake, yeah. pitch. Fake pitch, keep, and uh, was very effective last week for just that. Four, five, six. These are drive keepers. You know, you like the, you like those kind of plays. Give me five yards. Give me a drive keeper. Midland, a little bit more of the traditional sweet smash mouth football compared to Dow's gunslinging. Money goes to the right. He's got room to run up the sideline. Going to get the first down. So Money been able to be effective getting to the outside okay. with this running Again, game. we're going to see the sweep come out here. All the, all the players are out here. But we're going to see a hold again right here. That is a hold. And uh, that's a, every time they've run the pitch that way, they've done that. Studebaker with the tackle. Ball all the way down to the 17-yard line. Midland knocking on the door. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Fake pitch again. Not this time. Well read by the Chargers. Pretty good defense on that play. Excellent defense. We have an injury on the, on the play. Andrew Murdit is the uh, on the tackle for Dow. James Harris is shaking up one of the uh, offensive linemen for Midland. That uh, the offensive line has. We talk about Metner improving as you go. The offensive line as well has uh, really stepped up. They had a tremendous game against Davison. More of the same last week in that big win against Lapeer. And uh, we'll take a look at, see what happened here. This is the, fake, the center. fake pitch here. And he just comes right up in that shoot. And really it's a good job right there of sliding the tackle and holding off and then holding everybody down. Good job. That's a good play. That's yeah. a very good play. Well, the pitch has uh, been a long time bread and butter play for Midland High. Coach Joswiak would be, uh, be proud that Kemick's still running that so effectively. Gary Joswiak, the Midland High football coach for 24 years, had a 16 and eight record in the the uh, Midland Dow rivalry. So second and nine for the Chemex. Metner rolls left, looking to pass. Fires caught. It's gonna be close to the first down. Nicely done by Metner. Very patient, letting his receiver come open. You're and gonna see out here. We're gonna see a little rush on this corner out here. He comes out now. See how the. This guy gets caught right out, gets caught inside. Jonah gets caught inside. Easy throw and an outstanding reception. It's uh, Caden Jacobs on the catch. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. And what a first quarter it has been. Action up and down the field. This huge crowd 
at the Midland Stadium uh, not disappointed. We anticipated a game like this and, uh, whew, got to catch your breath for a second. Good thing it's a quarter. It's a quarter. This is a very, you know, I, I continue to press the term effective possession. This is an effective possession. But what brought it about? A What brought it about? Simply the poor kick and the good return yeah, right. puts it in good position. So the Midland Dow rival we mentioned, this is the 48th city championship game. Um, just kind of a little history of it. Uh, Midland holds a 34-13 edge um, in this rivalry that started back in 1970. It was uh, Midland uh, kind of dominated the first six years, uh, but then Dow won for the first time in 1976, the state championship year with Kevin Northrup and Scott Alexander leading the way, Dow winning that game 20 to two. And then Midland reeled off uh, eight more in a row and then the mid 80s uh, and mid 90s, it kind of evened out. And uh, Dow had a three game winning streak, 95 to 97. You're very familiar with that coach, the coach of that. And then Midland had the advantage for quite a while, but lately it's been Dow. They have three city titles in a row and four straight um, victories over Midland, including a playoff game. So third and one here for the Chemex. Metner's gonna keep it, try to get to the outside. He's on his feet, he's being chased, and he dives for the end zone, and he is gonna be just short. Great effort by That's Metner. Tremendous effort. Tremendous he was, effort. Talk about knowing where the goal line is. Looked like he may have uh, caught the uh, pylon, but he must, his knee must have hit. He stretched that out all the way, as far as he could stretch it out and then turned around and, and almost got it in. Terrific effort. Put him down at the three. So maybe he's either stepped out of bounds or his knee hit, but it, it's first and goal Chemex at the three. Metner's gonna keep it. Drives ahead into the end zone for the touchdown. Great blocking up front. Paved the way for Cade Metner. And again, he's just not gonna be denied. Joe Cullinane, okay. number 55, just, one of the see blockers. see fake and then come right up in the scene. You get, there's an excellent job of blocking there. Well, there, when the offensive line is in the end zone with the green, that's a good sign exactly. for the ball carrier. Exactly. So Schwartz will go back to attempt the extra point. Metner is the holder. Good snap, good hold, good kick, but there is a flag on the play. It was whistled dead. He might actually have missed the extra points. A false start on the Chemex. Might have been a break for Midland. I think the the uh, official under the goalpost was saying no good, no but good. the whistle had blown. So we have to, instead of a traditional extra point, go back five yards and it'll be a uh, 25-yarder. Well, for these kickers, it's nothing still but a chip shot. Schwartz, good rush, and it is no good. I don't know, did he get a piece of that? <laughs> Caleb Studebaker with a tremendous rush, and uh, that's we, a big we play. We have mentioned Studebaker before. I think he got a piece of that. He came flying in and uh, tipped it. So, so keep it at 13-7. We're going to take a look at the touchdown first. And again, it's a little bit of a fake and a move up in the line, but watch the surge by this offensive line. Yeah, just and great blocking. Very nice. And now we'll go to the extra point. And Mystics. watch out for number 11. He is a real threat. Well, we called the homecoming game against Arthur Hill, and we... Mentioned that name a lot. Sophomore. So a big play. Um, and you know what? We'll take a look at it now. You can see him coming off the uh, the right edge. Coming off the edge, right in there. Here he comes. Unblocked. Midland did not account for him. Yeah, I think he just grazed the ball and. Uh, the ball had a different direction than. Yep. 
Studebaker, 5'9", 145. Not exactly what you'd say a prototypical football player, but As I he's said, a playmaker. Every Studebaker has been exactly that size, and every Studebaker plays 100% on every play. Kick back to the six yard line. Versus field, there's a flag. That one's probably gonna come back right. here. That was uh, Alec okay. Rising on the return. Flag came in from the side. It's gonna be a block. Yeah, probably an illegal block or a hold. And, and again, it's gonna be that same penalty that you wanna, you wanna avoid the, the most that you can. Don't do it on kickoffs. And the reason is guy runs by you. So you feel you have to grab him or hold him, or he turns on you, and now you have no choice to block him in the back. So Rizek kind of took it up the middle, then kicked it out back to the left. and uh, um, So a decent job, but it's going to be uh, marked back to the 14-yard line. So we shall see. Whenever a mixed, missed extra point comes into play, it just changes things. Exactly. Soraki in motion. Back to pass. Beautiful ball. Mativa and uh, bowls his way past the 20 yard line. That was a great pass by A Strike. You notice that they, they doubled Vaughn Walker. And now, Don Walker is down, down the sidelines saying, I think I've been held. Well, yeah, maybe. You'll see the double team occur here on Walker in order to get the, the pass in. There, there. Yeah. Am I being held? Maybe. That was a really nice ball and yeah. uh, punishing run by Mativ is a beast. He's the beast. Sasiki on the stop for the Chemex. Handoff. There's not much room to run. Maybe a yard for not Soraki. Not much in there. You, you're you're not going to win many games running into the teeth of the Midland defense. Midland does not let you run there. They do not let you run between tackle and tackle. They refuse to give you, you that position. Those positions. That D line. And they're not. They're not big in there. But man, they're quick and they come so hard. Alex Ware, number nine, he's just a tough, tough defensive lineman and not very typical middle lineman. Small, fast, and tough. Uh, Matt Ware is his, Matt Ware. his first name. And now we're gonna have another timeout, I believe Dow this time, with uh, 9.58. Alex is his dad. Yeah, I figured you were. Uh, yeah, I was. I was uh, back. You may be a generation I off was on back. that. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so bring up a third and three. You can kind of see why uh, this. You call timeout when you talk about possession. It's kind of a biggie here. Midland coming oh, off just, off uh, a score, and Dow did not want to turn it right back over. Uh, to Midland High, because they want to make sure they get the right play call here. Midland is, is going to force you to do what they want you to do. And that that's a key. And Dow has to be able to be successful in short, effective passes. Midland wants you to throw long so their pass rush can get to your quarterback. Midland wants you to run up the middle so their defense can stuff you. So you have to be able to throw short underneath passes and let your receivers run with the ball. Third and three. Back to pass. Fires, th throws it wide. There's good coverage. Decent pressure on the quarterback. And uh, may have had to throw a little bit quicker than he wanted to and just missed the receiver. It'll bring up fourth and three. Coach not happy with... Uh, with the execution on that play. And uh, so it will be um, Kuhn back to punt. Remember one of, the Chargers. one of the things I said earlier about the key to the game is making a quarterback move his feet. What Midland has done is rush up the arm of the quarterback. They've rushed his arm so that he uh, is gonna have 
an incomplete pass. Fair catch, good catch by Servinsky under pressure, but good field position for Midland at their own 48-yard line. So uh, the Midland defense able to stop Dow and uh, and uh, the Dow High defense is going to be called upon right here. You uh, you don't want to get uh, Midland to start increasing the gap uh, here Which here in the second quarter. So for Midland, Caden Jacobs split out wide to the left, Grove to the right. Metner back to pass. He's looking deep for Grove, and he incomplete. Nice job. Oh, they're going to call a flag. Whoa. Pretty good defensive coverage by Perry. Maybe he got a hand on him early. Sure, it has all the makings of an interference call. It's going to be called on Perry. That's a, that's well, we're a tight going to one. see this out here. They're on each other. Where the interference comes in. You know what? He did get his arm on he him. He got his arm on the inside yeah. of him. Yep. yep. It's actually a good call. I didn't think so at I first. I didn't think so either, but but he did get his arm on, and it was the it hit the arm that was uh, causing the interference. So first and ten, Midland at the 37 of Dow. They try to hit a, the big play to Grove, and it worked, getting drawn the penalty. Money in the backfield gets the handoff. Bobble it's up the middle. He's loose. Money cuts back up the middle and drives ahead. Touchdown, Touchdown, Midland High. Oh, what a run by Money. Beautiful, beautiful run. Oh, no, run. one ref's officials that called him down. I think uh, one signaled touchdown and the other uh, said he was down at the one. But what a this run is, by Money. This is a beautiful Martin run. Money. He gets up in here, makes three or four cuts, and then you'll see it right here. And then he just runs right by everybody. Uh, just nice a, cut back. A wonderful job of running, and does he go down? Yes. He's on the one. That, that was really close. In uh, the pros or D1, they'd be uh, reviewing that one. I'm pretty sure. But nevertheless, ball at the one. Midland knocking on the door after the big carry by Money. Money again, and he is close. I think he's going to be short. They're calling him down again. He probably picked up a half of a yard. Went from the one to the half yard line. Bring up second and goal. We may see Metner keep it here. Metner will keep it here. Fake the money. Metner with the ball. I thought that might be the call last time. I think they wanted to reward money yeah. for the uh -huh. run. Now they just want to get a touchdown. He is going to keep it. There's a flag on the play. Ball start, Midland. Wow, that is huge. That is a big penalty. So instead of uh, almost a sure TD from the half yard line, it's going to be back out to the six. Wow, that's potentially that, a that huge is, penalty. Those are disasters. But again, now we're going to see Methner, I think, on that cross buck. Midland Stadium is rocking right now. The, uh, the Dow High side imploring their defense to stop. The Midland side begging for a touchdown. Second down. Pitch right to Money. Going to get the edge. He's strung out, cuts up, and he's close. How close can money get on every carry? Well executed, but they're able to haul him down at the one. It'll be third down and goal. Again, you can tell money's going to get the pitch. He's sitting away out there, and here comes the run around the corner. 
I thought they had him strung out. Money did a good job cutting back. Terrific pancake there by Cam Walker. He tried to reach Cam, out, but he's down Cam to White. one. Terrific pancake by Cam White. So we're back to the one yard line. The drama here in Midland Community Stadium. Midland jumped they again. jumped again. Midland shooting themselves in the foot with two penalties from the one yard line. Just they were just a little impatient on that. Wow, those are killer penalties. Back to the six again. Going back and forth here. Be third and goal from the six this time. Midland's going to call a timeout, I think. If Midland can survive, if, if Dow can survive this play, then you know a field goal is coming. Right. Make up for the missed extra point. Make up for the extra point. And if that happens, it's a win for Dow. Right. Well, Midland is uh, beside gotta, themselves right now. You got to fight off the pitch. You got well, two plays right here. You either got the pitch or Eric or. Uh, Cade Methner running the ball on a cross bucket. Or unless he tries to roll and see and kind of uh, option uh, run pass. They're making this uh, decision right now. It's just a beautiful night here in Midland. Um, uh, you can't get any better weather for this game. And uh, this is one of the bigger crowds we've seen here in a while. It's just packed, and the stadium is just ringing with people. Make a great overhead shot. So here we go. Now trying to dodge the bullet. All goes back to calling money down at the one instead of getting in. This is going to be Methner. Metner is going to roll to the short side right. He's going to cut back, and he's going to go down. He's still on his feet, tripped up, drives ahead. <laughs> Unbelievable effort by Metner, but uh, great job by the Dow defense. So he all that to get to the four-yard line. Alex Jonas has him out here, and uh, you'll, you'll see good positioning by him, good defense at that point. Now he has him. And Metner is so elusive. He gets away right there. We good balance running, missed tackle, and goes down. Tiva finally with a stop. So Schwartz, after all this, will end up lining up for a field goal now, try from 22. And now remember, this is if no matter what happens here, this is a win for Dow. Kick is up, and it is good. Oh, my goodness. What action. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Millen extends the lead See, that's to 16-7. That's a nine-point lead. Again, we get the rush off the corner, but it's, it's just not enough that time. It's but it's a nine-point lead. That's, that means a two-score two game. It's probably tempting to go for it, but you'd. Yeah, the two-score game, you just got to get take those the points. points. Take the points. Plus, your kicker got one stopped the last time, so you want to give him a little more confidence. Yeah. But, again, that's a win for Dow. They fought hard down in there and allows them to at least stay in there. Now, on the touchdown, it's going to be interesting watching the replay of the touchdown or the play by money because he may have broken the plane before his knee See, went See, that's down. what I was thinking, because yeah. he had you the ball that, out stretched. You want that sideline cam, don't you? Yeah, that's that what I was That, that would have been reviewed. I don't know how, yeah. what, how it had turned out, but really very difficult call for the official, because he's got to watch the knee right. and that. So you, you can see why he called Tremendous him effort by, by Martin Money. Frankly, by 22 guys out on that field. These are young men just flat out competing. Kickoff by Schwartz, fielded back at the seven yard line. Tries to go the wide side and is thrown down. He fumbled the ball, Midland gets it. What a play. That was an unbelievable play by uh, Carter Grove. When he hit him, he stripped the ball from him on the way down and had the ball. Take another look at this one. 
What a play by Grove. You get a good view of it here on the short side. Right here Grove, Returned right by here. Rizig. Grove fights off the block. So he comes in and right there just took the ball from him. Took the ball That's away. the right call. The ref was in great position. He stripped him and recovered the ball in bounds. That's just one heck of a play by Carter Grove. And wow, Dow's defense is now uh, called upon to rise to the occasion one more time. Metner rolls to the right. He's looking for Grove. Pump fakes. He's going to cut up. And he's going to get about four, three or four yards on first down. Probably good uh, decision not to throw. It was well covered by Dow. Got to the 16 yard line. Bring up second and seven for Midland. 6.22 to go in the first half. Midland up by nine and uh, threatening here once again. Ben Zeitler, number eight, comes to get the defensive signal. He's out here on the uh, checking Grove wide left. Money steps up. He's gonna keep for Metner. He's got the first down, drives ahead. Wow. Tripped up at the one. Explosive run by Cade Metner. That Brennan. was a that was a beautiful run. Doyle Just with the tackle right saves the touchdown. The There's the fake runs right up in the chute. Midland does a wonderful job of clearing blocking out. And Metner is so quick and elusive. Doyle saved a touchdown there, tackling him at the two-yard line. That's a veteran quarterback play right there. He has a good read. He had the read to uh, hand off the money or keep. How the about, defense went on money and how Metner How about ran. this Midland offensive line? All juniors. Yeah. All, all, be, all be coming back. Reasonably good size, but boy, do they come off the ball. Wow. And, they, and they're in sync. Um, very impressive. The officials time out right here. Official explaining something to uh, to uh, Jason Watkins, Dow's head coach. Watkins, five and five in against Midland High in his uh, career. He took over as head coach of Dow in 2009 and just done a phenomenal job for the Chargers. 5.42 and a half. It is first and goal from the two for Midland. They've been here before and only got a field goal. Metner's gonna keep it, spins ahead. He is short, right on the goal line. Oh man, they have been getting so close and not, Dow's uh, held impressively. The ball is inches away from the goal line. Be tempted to go under center, but they uh, and sneak it. But that's they're not used to running that, so we'll probably see Mattner keep it here again. I gotta believe. Why risk a handoff? Second and goal from about the two-inch line. Money drives ahead. This time he's in. Martin Money behind that offensive line you were talking about, and Midland on the board again. Here's the thing, Midland is simply imposing its will on Dow. I mean, this is now 22, possibly 23 points in the first half with still almost five minutes to go. Midland's offensive line is imposing its will on defense. Yeah, the Dow defensive line was two yards into the end zone on that. Exactly. And that spells touchdown for Midland. It's 22-7. And Midland's going to go for two here, up by 15. Under center, power uh, formation. Metner's going to keep it. And a great job by Mativa. He tried to get that extra point back. That's always a debate, you know, you chase the point early or uh, or what, but I think they just felt the way their line was blocking, they had a good chance. You never chase points, you never never change points. Here comes Mativa off the corner, and he's gonna come in here. 
blow it right up. Yeah, Madiba right just uh, inside tackle there just eliminated the yeah. whole play. He beat the Dow or the Midland offensive tackle. Yeah, Midland did go under center there. Um, they don't do that very often. Not but nevertheless, 22-7, Midland on top by 15. Interesting thing, Dave, on that two-point play, they had receivers open. Here comes Money. Watch the, watch the drive of the, of the front line here. Yeah, they just, uh, they doubled on the nose there and just, just uh, <coughs> no chance to stop the play. Now, Cullinane. Dow has done something on every one of the kickoffs, which I don't understand. They have run to their bench. So pooch kick by Midland this time. Nice job, job. fair catching it by Doyle. They try to catch him by surprise and do that uh, pooch kick, we, which uh, that'll give Dow good field position we here. We know by watching Midland all year that every one of their kicks go to their bench. And so if you, you want to return it that way, you can't run across the field with the penetration that Midland's kickoff team has. Their pooch kick is a, is a real weapon for them. And that was a very smart play by Doyle to fair catch it. So Dow takes over on their own 32-yard line. Um, better, really field, better field position they've had. Yeah, in a while. You're going to see if they can uh, mount a... Uh, late drive here towards the end of the half. Midland with the last two scores. Back to pass, flag on the play. And uh, he strikes taking off and he is gonna get about three. That might be an offside. It's gonna be on uh, 22 Doyle. He's conversing with the official about his positioning instead of just being in position. I mean, the official's not going to tell you you're okay. You know, you watch receivers, they'll point yeah. to the official and say, the official's not going to say anything. It's your job to line up correctly. It's not his job to tell you. So it can be illegal formation? Yeah. We're going to probably well, step actually, this back. He was, he was moving without any reason to be moving. So five-year penalty, bring up first and 15 for Dow. Those are disastrous penalties in, in this area. Inside the 30-yard line, those are big-time penalties because anything can happen here. Now you're forced to throw the ball at least to get 50 per, uh, half the distance. Back to the 27-yard line. Clock is running. Play action pass up the middle and he, oh wow, he had his man open but uh, just overthrew him. He was under heavy pressure. Walker again, I think it forced him to throw it a little sooner than he wanted. It'll bring up a second and 15. Chase Perry ran in the post pattern, had a step on his man but uh, just overthrown. The, uh, may have to give Walker some credit on that. He, got, he uh, put pressure on the quarterback on the play action pass and uh, bring up uh, Walker, second and 15. Walker's simply been a force this whole game. Doty split wide to the left, bunch formation here, two tight ends for Dow. Soraki takes the handoff, trying to find his way ahead. Great job by the Chemex. Reed kind of forced him back inside. It was uh, good defense by Reed. Good play out here by, by Mitch Reed. He's gonna see how he stays his ground right in here. And that Walker and too. Slips the block. Excellent job yeah. on defense. Yeah. There's Walker's in there too. They're double teaming him uh, again, but he still was able to have an impact on the play. Third and 15, third and 16, excuse me, for Dow. It's a big play. 
Back to pass, throws downfield and uh, not there. Under pressure again, that was Matt Ware laying the lumber on uh, A strike. So he's, uh, he is under duress uh, much of the time back there. Remember my key, protect the quarterback. You gotta protect the quarterback. If you're a passing team, number one on your assignment is protect the quarterback and allow him to be able to set his feet and throw. Midland doesn't let you do that. Midland's gonna put pressure on you. High snap, oh, it's on the ground, oh my goodness, and Midland is gonna take over way in Dow territory. That's uh, Servinsky ends up with the ball, but a high snap and uh, unable to come down with it was Kuhn. I think he felt some pressure there and then it was just too late. Well, not only does he drop the ball, but when he drops the ball, he can't find it. And now where is it? Can't find it, doesn't fall on it. Well, it was fourth down, so Midland was gonna get the ball there one way or another. First and goal, Midland has been inside the 10 yard line a lot this quarter. So 326 to go in the first half, Midland uh, knocking on the door, pitch right to Money. Great job by Dow that time, stringing it out. That's Mativa again. Mativa with a tremendous play. The pitch has been working all night for Midland, but not that time. Again, I'm impressed with Cam White. He gets out in front and he makes a great block. Mativa just slips to the inside and uh, is able to make a play on it. Second and goal from the two. Again, if it's one of those things, if Dow can keep Midland out of the end zone, it's another win because Midland's kind of leaving some points um, out there. Fakes the pitch, he's gonna keep it, drive ahead, but uh, good job again by the Dow defense. That's, uh, I think that's uh, Murdit, number 80, grabbed his ankles and held on. Here's that fake pitch, reverse spin. That was a heck of a play by 80 right there. Shed his block and uh, held on and then let uh, his teammate Shane Oskverik uh, clean it up. Third and goal. Bentner back to pass. In the end zone, intercepted by Doyle. And wow, what a turn of events. The Dow defense comes up big. Doyle with the Beautiful pick. Beautiful job. Grove he comes in here. Doyle a, sits in the middle. There's only one receiver one and they receiver had a triple out. covered. It just wasn't there. So let's see what Dow can do. Under two minutes to go in the half with this offense. That's plenty of time. Quarterback's gonna keep it and nothing doing. Just uh, Cam White just buries him for the loss. You can't do it. You just don't run in there. You, you've got to stay out of that middle. Of the, Dow's power is in their passing game. You've got to protect the quarterback, give him some time to throw, and he will complete passes. A-strike hasn't run all year long. Loses three on the play. They're letting the clock run. Dow has uh, one timeout remaining. Midland, uh, no timeouts left. A-strike back to pass, goes the other way, throws wide open, Mativa. And Mativa is gonna bull his way to the first down out to the 31. 
That was well a good play. executed play. Well executed, good throw. And uh, Mativa is going to come out and, and be in the flat area. It's just a nice, easy little play. Here he comes dragging across the field. Cleared out everybody. And he's an excellent receiver. Now watch, he's going to put the punishment on the middle and secondary. I mean, this is a 220-pound back. That was a great effort. 102 to go in the half. Dow looking to see if they can get some points here. Back to pass. He's looking deep under heavy pressure. A strike finally throws it. Complete, unbelievable play out to uh, Skinner. Wow, A strike, a tremendous play. He had no chance. And this uh, kept his poise and found his top receiver and uh, gets it out to the 37 yard line with 48 seconds to go. It brings second down. He must have got out of bounds. The clock has stopped. Oh no, Dow calls timeout. They call their final timeout of the game. And, uh, or of the half, I should say. But, uh, wow, what an effort by A-Strike. He just had, uh, he thought he was just doomed for a sack or had to throw it away, but instead he found uh, Skinner. We'll take another look at it here. We're going to see A-Strike come out here, break the contain. He had a lot of time to throw. Now all of a sudden he's, he's on the rush. But a great job by Caden Skinner to get free right here. And A-Strike just lobs it to him. Right before he was hit. Gamola on the tackle out at the uh, 37. So neither team with a timeout left in the half. Midland with the lead, but you sense a little Dow's defense has come up so big. Midland had a chance almost to put the game away, but uh, Dow is uh, still alive. Back to pass, pump fake. He's gonna take off with it, and he's gonna get out of bounds. He's gonna move the chain, so uh, another heads up play by A-Strike. Under heavy pressure, he looked like he was gonna pump fake and try to go deep to Ryzik, who was well covered. But with 40 seconds to go, Stops the clock at the ball on the 43. You're in your two-minute offense here, and you're going to try to stop stop the clock as often as you can. You still can do this. 40 seconds, 60 yards is not impossible, not with the striking power that Dow has. Mo goes in motion, fires. It's the hook and ladder. He did not get out of bounds. Clock runs. That's a bread and butter play for him. They pick up nine, but uh, he did not get out of bounds. And the clock is running. 20 seconds to go. Second and one. He strike back to pass. Rolls. Still looks downfield. Looks downfield. Throws it, and it is incomplete. Tried to uh, find Siraki on the sideline. Good coverage by the Chemic secondary. Sasiki on the coverage on that play. Nine seconds to go in the half. It's third and one. If he does a quick out to get a first down, they could run an extra play. But you have to get out of bounds. 9.4 seconds, you know you're going to go to the end zone. You know you're going to get tremendous pressure. Four receivers out to the left. Strike back pass under pressure. Keeps it going. He's hit. The ball is loose. And it is recovered by no signal, there's 1.7 seconds. Midland high ball, Walker on the uh, fumble recovery. Again, Dow cannot, Dow's offensive line cannot hold up to the pressure that is occurring here 
Watch the pressure by the uh, defensive by the defense there. Look at yeah, the good, pressure there. Look good. at Ware. Everybody's in his arms. Here comes Ware coming back. Tremendous job by yeah. Matt Ware. That was great effort. <laughs> he got in there at first, missed him, and then uh, what stuck with it. What effort. So we'll see if Midland tries to go big here. 1.7 seconds remaining in the half. Metner, the pitch right to Money. And he cuts up, gets out of bounds, but that's going to do it for the half. And what a half it was. Action up and down the field. But Midland on top, 22-7. But kind of despite that, Dow has to be somewhat happy in that uh, I, They've the held a middle three times if, down there. If I'm down high right now, I'm absolutely delighted that the score is 22-7 because it easily could be in the 30s to 7. Uh, Dow's offense has been non-existent and non-existent because of the pressure that Midland's defense is putting on him. Dow is not matching. Dow's offense is not matching the intensity of Midland's defense. Dow's defense is suffering from that lack of intensity. Well, we will see what happens as the two teams uh, head to the locker rooms. Uh, both uh, teams well coached, and you know we'll make some adjustments. Uh, and uh, I think especially Dow offensively will look to change things up and see if they can control the, the defensive front of Midland. But uh, while the teams uh, head to the locker room to uh, – to talk things over, we are going to send it down to the field for the marching bands. First up is the visiting Midland High Marching Band, and they'll be joined by Dow High. It's a uh, great spectacle. We talked about that before the game. The, the two bands play together. It's just a sight to behold to see this field uh, full of the band members. So I hope you enjoy the halftime show, folks, and we will, uh, we will catch you in the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Mr. William Monroe, Mr. Chris O'Connell, and Mrs. Karen Walser, with percussion specialist Judith Peterson, it's the Midland High School Chemic Marching Band. Band, take the field. <laughs> This year's Chemic Band features drum majors Aubrey Root, Joshua Danielson, Lauren Gallo, and Aiden Haas. Our halftime show is entitled Up, and now you will be treated to an encore performance of our finale from that show. Enjoy the band's tornado drill as our house from Up takes center stage as the band plays the fanfare from E.T. Band, are you ready?
And now, the Midland High School Fight Song. and Mr. Michael McMath for their outstanding engineering and artwork on our house. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, David and Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, the 261 strong, the largest band in our school's history, and one of the largest high school marching bands in the Great Lakes Bay region, the H.H. Dow High School Charger Marching Band. We are the sound of Charger spirit. In the past 60 years, only three Spanish language songs have been in the top 10 on the charts, La Bamba, Macarena, and Despacito. Over the summer, Louis Fonzi's hit song also became the most downloaded and shared song in the internet era. Hadley Camp, senior trumpet section leader, is our featured soloist.
Thank you. And now we welcome the Kendrick Marching Band back to the field along with the Dow High and Midland High Pom Pom Squads. We are now approaching 500 students in place and they are ready to go. The combined bands and pom poms will perform a hit song that was made famous in 2016 by Fitz and the Tantrums. Here is Hand Clap. We close this week's very special halftime show with a wonderful new arrangement by Brad, Brad Pearson that is based on America the Beautiful. This is America Fantasy.
as they leave the field. Let's have another big round of applause for the combined Midland Public Schools high school marching bands and pom-pom squads. here for the uh, second half of the Midland vs. Dow game. And um, Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore bring you the action. And we're going to quickly go to the first half highlights. And uh, Coach, there were plenty of highlights. Well, we're going to start right off with a, a great pass to Carter Grove out in the flat. He catches the ball, and you're going to see a terrific run here. And then a block by uh, Mitch Reed is going to spring him loose. And Carter, he, he does know where the end zone is. He's been a top receiver for Midland all year. And here comes Nick Soraki on a little pass to the inside. That is a pass. And as a result, you're going to see Soraki run all the way down the field for a touchdown and outrun everybody. Now this is Methner coming up into the shoot, getting into the end zone, diving in, going in for the touchdown. That was a very good play. We're starting to see at this point Midland's dominance in their offensive line. And this is a great run by Money. Money ran for 105 yards and got uh, quite a bit of it on this run. But watch the cut right here, the cut back. Little jump cut right there. Let the back up and then just running through it. And we think he's in. I think he's in. But the official <laughs> no. didn't, so we don't we don't count. And then this is a, 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 a great play right here where the ball is taken out of the hands of the running back by Grove. Carter Grove right here. And it's going to lead to a, another play by Midland. Great field position inside the 20. Midland has had great field position all the first half. This is where I see the surge. Midland's, Midland's blue hats are lower than Dow's gold hats. And that's what I look at. And in football, low man wins. And this is just a turnover that you just hope never happens, where they get the ball right back again. And uh, from the Dow uh, punt, and right here, we're going to see a terrific play by Brennan Doyle. One man pattern and really beautifully covered. Yeah, a nice play by Doyle. So Midland kind of dominated the first half, but it's still a two possession game. Dow dodged some bullets, made some big plays on defense uh, down in the red zone. And uh, Midland had some. Uh, points that they just left well, out there. Well, here's the thing. We, we, I said, you got to score 40 points to beat Midland. That's going to be pretty close because Midland almost had 35 in the first half. So you got to, you got to get your offense going and get some points. You got to protect the quarterback, and and Midland and Dallas not done that. Uh, Midland's rush is just and limit the number of turnovers. Uh, you saw right there. You have a fumble, a uh, 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 punt that was dropped. So you got you, you can't have those and expect to win. So in each case here, uh, Dow did not do any of their keys. Effective possessions, yes and no. You can't lose points. And uh, Midland has made this a field position game, but most important, number three, they have made the quarterback move his feet. Not only move his feet, but change his arm angle on, on a lot of his throws. Those are not the throws we've seen early in the year from number two, A-Strike. And 
So the 22-7, uh, Midland on top, and uh, if you go back to the uh, uh, the halftime, it was announced when the Midland Dow uh, band and the Midland High band are out there, there's 500, over 500 band members on the field. That's It's quite a music amazing. program, isn't it? Yeah, what a Quite job. a music program. The music programs of both schools just uh, year in and year out just do an amazing job. Well, and they're not so careful. They're going to be uh, checked over by the high school association for recruiting. <laughs> I mean, really. You know, Maybe. I mean, are, are there instrument companies out there, there may be. paying? <laughs> sort of like an Adidas yeah, thing. Yeah, I, uh, uh, I got, got to be checking that out because they're <laughs> There's a lot of band members out there. Well, here's some stats from the first half, which we want to share with uh, everyone. Cade uh, Mether's 14 receptions for uh, 58 yards, 14 runs for 58 yards and a touchdown. He's two of five for 71 yards. That, most of it was on that one touchdown. Money is 11 carries for 105 yards and one touchdown. A strike is nine of 16 for 174 yards, but most of those came on that uh, shovel little pass. shovel yeah. toss pass. Soraki is three receptions for 109 yards and touchdown. And again, most of that came on that same play. Uh, in the first half, I'd have to say this, that Midland has totally dominated Dow, and yet Dow is hanging around. Yep. And this is the one thing you really don't want to do. You don't want a team that can score 40 and 50 points and let them hang around. We said Midland has been a good part of the uh, third, uh, second quarter in the red zone, really, of Dow, and, uh, you know, came away with uh, the 15 points, really, because they had seven previously. And so uh, you said Coach Watkins and his staff Although obviously they need to make some adjustments here at half, but he's got to feel that we are still in this game. And I know we're going to see some adjustments uh, offensively from the Chargers. Well, I'll tell you, the Dow, the Dow players are not going to be happy watching the film of that first half. This is, it, they have not played like that all year. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see their response to the halftime. And this is where, you know, Football is decided, and if you take a look at this, first four minutes of the game, last four minutes of the first half, first four minutes of this quarter right here, mm -hmm. and the last four minutes of the game. So those eight minutes that in each half are so crucial to your coaching. So you're going to see right here what is going to happen in these first four minutes. So Midland will get the ball. They had won the toss, uh, deferred to the second half. And so they will get possession here to start the second half. So a long kickoff cut by Grove at the seven. He cuts up, still on his feet. Finally swung down, but not before he gets uh, to the 35 yard line, maybe the 36. Tackle by Connor Moe, but a nice return by very uh, nice. Very, Grove. He, he, he is such an elusive receiver, and he's an elusive runner. He gets, he knows, he knows where the end zone is. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. He's one of those guys doesn't really look yeah. like he's moving fast, but he knows but he, he, is, he knows yeah. his way. To, he doesn't run laterally. So, Dow High defense which came up big in the second quarter. Um, See if they can make a stop here to start the second half. Money with the handoff. And he's going to drive ahead for about four. Money's that one of those backs that ends up always gaining a yard or two more than it seems like he well, should. He's a, he's a powerful runner. He's a very powerful runner. You know, he, he was uh, last year he had so many injuries that really limited his effectiveness. But he is, a, and early in the season, he was limited because he was playing baseball all summer. Yeah. So now he's really into his football legs. Second and six. Metner's going to keep it this time, and he's going to move the chain, still on his feet. He fumbles the ball, and we shall see.
Dow High takes it. Andrew Murdett on the fumble recovery. What a turn of, a, of events. Metner had the first down. Midland was Met, moving. Met, Metner's gonna stripped. get into the, into the secondary here. We're gonna look here on the fumble. Right. Mativa Mati Mati knocked it loose. It's the beast. The Knocked beast makes the play. What a play. You're going to be hearing the name Mativa a lot more tonight and in the next two years. He's only a sophomore, folks. Mativa is a sophomore Martin Money. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the way I look at it. So Dow in Midland field position after the turnover. Soraki McCary, he stood up after a yard gain. There's not much room in there to run like that. And if you do run in there, you can't be looking for a hole because they're going to fill it right now. Reed uh, among the tacklers. Christian Gordon as well. Second and nine. Reed's having a very good game here for the Chemex. Wow, that was a big play to start this half because Midland was moving. Instead, Dow in Midland territory. Back to pass, a strike. He's gonna put it down and run, nowhere to go. He just got enveloped. Outstanding coverage by Zach Zervinsky and that holds up that, uh, when that, when that press coverage is out there, it holds up the quarterback just enough. I believe that was Ben Gordon with the sack. He will go down as a sack because he went back to pass. He lost a yard. Third and 10 for Dow. Again, a strike uh, under that heavy pressure. Kind of a combination. He's under pressure, and the secondary also um, has been holding up. Big play here. And Dow calls time out early in the second quarter. That was a, a kind of a confusion from the beginning where A strike was way over here. It looked like he didn't understand what the play was and he got in there and the alignment was nowhere near. So it happened early in the first half. Dow used up a quick timeout. And As a uh, coach, they do, I guess, hate calling timeouts. You want to save every timeout right till the end. You want to take them home. That's what, what you want to do. And so we'll see what the Chargers can dial up. Kamek defense fired up. They've been uh, playing nasty so far tonight. Third and 10. It's a powerful Dow, Dow offense can strike at any time. He strike back to pass. He's got time. He was under pressure. Oh, they're going to call rough in the passer, I think. Very late flag was incomplete, and uh, it's like the official was took a while to decide. But it's going to be a personal foul roughing the passer on Chemex. Wow, what a big break for Dow. That was going to be fourth and ten. They were going to have to punt. Instead, they're going to go deep into Chemex territory. I, I'd like to say that that was. A, a foul. I mean, it was. But you know what? What's the difference here is, Midland is playing with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. You know they're playing with a chip on their shoulder, and they're 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 making Dow just hang in there. Rocky motion, high snap. Ball still loose. A strike. Oh, huge loss. And that's Walker finally corralled him. A strike probably would have been better off to fall on it, but trying to when he picked it up, he cost himself about 10 yards. So this time, I don't know if it, it was he. It, it came earlier it, than it he came expected. earlier than he expected, and his eyes were not on the ball. 
his eyes were on Soraki as to what was happening uh, with the coverage of Soraki. Walker almost forced a fumble there. Yes. So all the way back to the 49, second and 31 for Dow. 21 yard loss. This is one where you just got to try to pick up some of it. A quick screen and oh man, that was read well. That was Mitch Reed again. Mitch Reed is uh, <laughs> came to play tonight. He read that play beautifully. This is that little uh, tunnel screen that we talk about. A lot of teams like it. Fake it to the right, throw back to the left to Skinner, but Mitch Reed is right there on the play. Son of Paul Reed, former Kemic. Back in the day, I'd be proud of how his son is playing Absolutely. here tonight. Absolutely. Mitch, Mitch has had a great season. Third and 33, they actually lost two on that. And this time again, well read. That's Jacob Gamola on the coverage. Try to hit Skinner's favorite receiver and Gamola all over it and a sure tackle. Gamola playing a solid game himself here tonight. And so after all that, Middle will end up getting the ball back. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I do not like the body language of the Dow High football players right now. They are, their heads are down, their hands are on their hips. Short kick to the right, Servinsky waves the fair catch. He's gonna take it at the 21. So the middle offense back on the field with seven minutes to go in the third quarter. And so uh, Midland survives the turnover, coming up with some big defensive plays. Midland, Midland uh, defense uh, has come to play. The inability to convert third downs is being crucial in this game. The inability to create, the, to convert on those third downs. So coach Eric Metner would like nothing more than a lengthy drive here. Money on the carry, up the gut. Rambles ahead for about 13 yards. Wow, was that a powerful run by Money? And that offensive line just moved. It was just the basically Dow defense said, out of there. Go ahead and try to stop it. Take another look at this. Guard pulled, cleared out the hole, and uh, money finally hauled down by Siraki. But moved the chains up to the 35. Money again, and. Uh, this time, not much room to run. Good play by Connor Moe. It's going to hold him to about a three-yard gain. Well, let me let me point out something that I have not seen tonight. All year long, watching Dow and watching Midland, what we we've seen is a swarm type of defense. We rarely see one guy making the tackle. We see one guy starting the tackle, but here comes the swarm. We haven't seen that out of Dow's defense tonight. It's been one guy having to make a tackle. The swarm is not there tonight. Second and seven, six minutes to go. Metner's gonna keep it. Drives ahead, first down. Another excellent read by Cade Metner. He just uh, put it in the belly of money, held on, held on, and when the defense committed to money, he took, he cut it up. That was a really nice job by Metner. Metner has been a force in, in the second half of this season. I rarely have seen a quarterback with his intensity and his improvement as the year has gone on. Yeah, it's been something to see. It's been, it's been beautiful. It's been beautiful. There's a official's timeout. I'm not sure what the issue is. I'm sure uh, Midland not. Oh, the clock had stopped. Um, there's a little too much time on it. So they're resetting the clock. I'm sure uh, Midland doesn't really want delays here. They want to 
get up there and uh, keep punching. Money. Nice job that nice time tackle. by Dow. Very nice tackle. Like, Studebaker. Uh, Studebaker again. Before John Reddick also in, in the action. 64, Luke Kowalczyk on that front line for Dow as well. No gain for money that time. We'll bring up second and 10. All on their own 48 yard line. Approaching the five minute mark of the third quarter. He steps to the left side. Pitch, money, left side. Nowhere to go. That was a great job. Now that by the Chargers. was a great job that time. There's the From swarm Dallas. you were looking for. Yes, a beautiful job by Alex Jonas out on the right flank. He fought off the blockers and did a great job of holding the play up while everybody else can come to, to make it. And then Reddick, John Reddick, the senior, uh, finished him off. Five yard loss for money. We have not seen many negative plays for Midland tonight. Uh, but that was a big one. Third and 15 as the clock runs. Matner rolls to his left, comes back to his right, fires deep downfield, throws up a Hail Mary, and it's picked off again. Doyle's got it again. Here he goes down the left sideline, still on his feet, finally run out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Brennan Doyle with his second interception of the game. The junior, not just the interception, I think Midland figured it would be like a punt. Throwing right. it deep, but uh, instead, the big return by Doyle has uh, Dow within striking distance here. Yeah, that was quite a play by Ethan Volmering to, to bring down. You'll see it here on the replay, but he's going to bring it down here, and right in here, he's going to make the tackle. And that's a big tackle running down a running back. Yeah. Now, here here's the thing. Dow must be able to sustain some possessions because their defense is getting worn down. So Dow has to have a possession here that at least gets them down there and in the end zone and, and make some plays here to give their defense a break. 3.58 to go. Play action pass, ball thrown short. The ball hit the turf. Good effort by Mativa, but uh, ball a little bit short. Just kind of feel like Ace Strike just kind of feels footsteps. Exactly. He's under it's, pressure well, all night long. It's, it's, a lot of his passes have been short tonight. So therefore you're... It'll bring up second and 10. What do you guys say about the Dow defense? So they have come up big. They and, have, uh, they have. Forced two turnovers here already this half and it just really keeps them in the game. Midland starts to move and ends up turning it over. Second 10, a strike back to pass. Under pressure again, he's hit, but he's got Skinner. Gamola with the, hits him immediately, but I think he's gonna get enough for the first. It's gonna be close. Yeah, he got the first down to the 27 yard line. Dow secondary can't handle Skinner. I mean, that, that's the guy to look to. He's open, he's smooth, he catches everyone. He's like Carter Grove. He's open, he catches the ball, and he knows what to do once he catches it. So Dow on the move, trying to convert on the turnover. You can see the clock running, three and a half to go in the third quarter. Midland kind of playing with fire here. Dow hangs around. Deep into the play clock here, Siraki in motion. He's going deep to Skinner again, and he's got it! Again, touchdown. touchdown, Chargers. Back shoulder pass by A strike, and just like that, Dow right back in it. It's just like I said, Midland cannot handle Skinner. Don't don't think that, uh, that, that he's out of the game, because he's not. He is a player. 
you got to find Skinner and let him have the ball. The Dow defender, the Midland defenders are too small to handle Skinner. So Dow, you have to say, they probably go for the extra one here. Ultimately, they'll probably need a two-point conversion, but they uh, and go for the extra point. It is uh, Zach Kuhn, the junior kicker. He's had a great year. The ball's drilled through the uprights, and it is all of a sudden an eight-point game with three minutes to go. Now, so there, Midland, uh, the drive. turnovers uh, finally are going to come right. back and haunt you. There's a drive. You gave your defense a little bit of heart. Remember I told you that the Dow needed something because their heads were down? Well, that was the play right there. Two passes, the Skinner, uh, the turnover. Turnover was big. Yeah, huge. Like I said, I think they tried to throw it deep, figuring if it, even if it got picked, it'd be like a uh, punt. But the huge return by Doyle has... Uh, really put Dow in that position and, and this time they convert. You, if, Momentum has changed. If you're Dow, you have to challenge the defenders for Midland. You have to challenge those two cornerbacks that are sitting out there and, and you've got mismatches. See, and that, the whole key to football is find a mismatch and take advantage of it. You've got mismatches. You have a receiver like Skinner and a receiver like Grove, and you need to find the mismatch out there for you and then take advantage of it. So, Kuhn kicks off, squib kick, fielded at the 25, and tripped up. Well, his knee's down. It was uh, Tim Hackbarth, number 22. Said it wasn't, and there, it's going to come out to the 34-yard uh, line. Well, we'll see if the Midland offense can respond. They move the ball, but then uh, end up uh, have just not converted on some of their opportunities. And now Dow has a little more uh, giddy up in their step. Money. Drive they, ahead for now, a couple. See what I mean? How there's a difference now. There's a difference to Dow's step. That was a swarm right there. We haven't seen that much of that in in this uh, in the first half. We're seeing a little bit more of it right here. Kowalczyk in on the stop for Dow. Second and eight. This is a very manageable eight point. So Midland Midland has to have an effective possession right here. Three turnovers tonight. Mettner back to pass. Fires, got Grove. Hit right as he caught it. Gonna be a couple yards shy of the first down. Thought he actually got a yard farther on the forward progress, but they're gonna put it back at the 42. It'll bring up third and two. Well, this is where the this is man on man here. Right here. Is it going to be the Midland offensive line against the Dow defensive line? Now, in this situation, it has always been Methner carrying the football. This time, a power formation. Money drives ahead. Got the, first. Got the first down. So they move the chains. I don't know if that was money. Yeah, it was money. Just power. That's just power football right there. So Midland wins that scrum. Move the chains. The clock runs with, with uh, about a minute and a half to go. That was Jacobs running the half. ball. Jacobs running the ball behind money. Okay, I wondered if. Yeah, if, uh, Jacobs running the ball. First and 10 from their own 45 yard line. This is the area of the field they've gotten to twice this half, but then turned it over. Money with the sweep, trying to get the edge. He does, he's got it. Gonna gain about five. Run out of bounds by Nick Siraki. But a good pickup on first for the Chemics. It'll bring up second and five. Ball right at midfield. 
Just get the feeling Midland's just going to see if they can play power football here. They get a heavy dose of money. Metner is going to keep it this time. He's going to head. He's got room to run. He's going to move the chain. Still on his feet. Metner down to the 25. Inside the 25. Thrown out of bounds. But a big gain for the Chemex. Metner again that's with that. He, uh, that's what he does. He that runs read. that little little read play, and he just he fakes it in here, and then he just takes off and gets right into the area. There's the fake. He makes the nice read. Great blocking up front. Wow, that is just terrific blocking. Good I'll, I'll tell you, Cam White is just dominating out there tonight. I mean, he is, that's his third or fourth pancake. First, first and 10 from the 23. Money up the gut, still on his feet. Drives ahead, but great tackle uh, by a Perry. May have saved a touchdown. Money kicks it out. And uh, looked like he was going to have room, but uh, Perry grabs now it this by the ankles. We see a little power backfield here. You can see a little old diamond backfield. And Money takes the ball. Now watch the cutback in this play right here as he's able to get out there. And there he's a powerful runner. A powerful runner. Picks up four on the play. It looked like he could gain more, but, uh, but Perry... He's able to finally corral him at the ankles. Metner is going to keep it. He's got a little hole again. Drives ahead. He's close to the first down. I think he's going to get it. It'll probably be the last play of the quarter. 14 seconds to go, and I imagine Midland will just uh, let this one run out. Chains well, move. It looks like Midland has found a little bit of a weakness in the Dow defense on that side and they are, they are certainly exploiting it. And we're gonna switch ends, folks. It's a classic here tonight. Midland on top, 22-14, and uh, knocking on the door at the 11-yard line. Folks, uh, you can stay tuned to MCTV this fall and into the winter for more high school games and events on the MCTV network. MCTV volunteers and staff will be televising the Midland vs. Dow volleyball match, the Midland Dow hockey game, and Midland vs. Dow basketball. Check out MCTV on Facebook to follow us and get up-to-date information on all programming and events at MCTV. I also remind you that the coverage of this Midland High football game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up for an orientation class where you can learn how to get started with community television. Ori orientation workshops are on Saturday, November 11, starting at 10 a.m. It's just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. You can call the number on your screen, 837-3474, to sign up. You can learn more about MCTV uh, on Facebook or cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV. So the Midland student section uh, lighting it up over there as they're imploring their team here. It's first and 10 from the 11. Eight That's point ball quite, game quite as we hit the fourth scene, quarter. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, lots of spirit, I love that. Money with a handoff. Up the middle, he fumbled the ball, but I think he got it back. Oh, a huge break for the Chemex. Money powered ahead. It looked like he dropped it, but he uh, fell right back on it at the four, maybe the three. Again, power a blocking by Midland. Yeah, he did drop it and uh, went bounced right back to him, wow. Here's Cam White again with a big block. You've been, uh, been talking about him a lot tonight on the offensive line. Cam White has been an absolute force tonight. Second and three, money again. Trying to fight ahead, and he's gonna be close, very close. 
Remember, he can still get a first down here, can Midland. But a good uh, swarm by the Chargers that time. Boy, if they hold Midland to a field goal here, that could be big. It'll bring up third and one from the two yard line. There's the chain crew for Dow High, volunteers that help make these games go. Third and one. Again, this is Metner's favorite area. Metner's got flag on the play again. Metner drives into the end zone. We'll have to check the flag though. The flag is on Midland. You can see the official over there. He signaled the touchdown, but. That would be Midland's third penalty from the two or one yard line tonight. Devastating. Midland just shooting themselves in the foot. Oh man. Remember in the second quarter, they had two penalties from the one yard line. This on a third and one, it's gonna turn it into a third and six. Wow, does that hurt? This is pitch time. Watch money on the pitch. Short right side here or is what you're looking for. Short side or wide side? They go. Depends on what side he lines up on. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you when he lines up. They're going to call a timeout. Yeah. It's a big. Th that was a good timeout. Nice, you now that was a good timeout. Yeah, this is a strategy. Timeout. Absolutely. That was a good wow. timeout. Midland uh, doesn't win. Uh, they're going to look back at three monster penalties in this game. Where they could. But D Dow just has been resilient. So here we go. Again, this is where Methner makes the fake, makes the play, goes inside. And you'll see that that's a, this has been a staple for theirs all night long. A little bit of a read. And he comes back up inside. Great effort by Metner diving in, but uh, we'll see what the chemics dial up here. My goodness. So. Midland Faithful, the students and band on their feet, going crazy. The Dow High student section also going crazy for their defense. Midland trips left. Money it's, not a, it's not a pitch. Metner's going to keep it. Runs ahead, and he's probably going to get the first. Yes, he's got the first down. Wow, what a huge play. Again, he follows the the uh, blocking, they just say line See, take they got over. all of this out here, and that's just to get you out of the way. But he makes a little cross buck fade, another cr great kick out block right in there. By White again. And uh, it's a beautiful thing when you can do it. First and goal from the one. Midland dodges the bullet from the penalty, but still, they have been here before. I think Metner's uh, shoe came off or was untied. Officials time out to let him lace him back up. Ten o two remaining in the game. I think we're looking at power football here, Coach. No question. They'll probably get in that. Uh, triangle formation that they had earlier, their two-point uh, formation, and just try to pound it in. But, you know, you got first down. Well, this is where uh, we'll see if uh, Mativa, Mo, and the gang can uh, come up big here for Dow. First and goal. Trying to get restarted here. Metner finally... Uh, and now the clock will run. Metner's going to follow Money, and he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Chemex. He 
just followed Martin Money on the block. That, that's an old single wing tailback power. Money got and, shaken up. Yeah. Just a great little power run inside. And again, look at the surge up in there by the middle and high lineman. Money got uh, crumpled over, kind of limping off the field. 28 14 is a big extra point here. Midland makes the extra point. We'll force Dow at some point to go for two. Schwartz. High snap and blocked Guess again. Studebaker. Oh my goodness. Dow High just keeps making the little plays that keep him in the game. The again, high snap, yeah, Mender did an amazing yeah. job here. He got a hold of the ball, he attempts to get it down. That's just enough for Studebaker to get in there. They just don't block him on the edge and he's too quick. You know, you got to figure that you got to come for Studebaker somewhere. He's the only guy that gets in there. He wasn't, uh, now, he's blocked two of them. Okay. He wasn't blocked on either one. Midland has totally dominated the game. Totally. And yet, Dow is very manageable 14 points away. That was a uh, was a big answer by the Chemics. It After was. After Dow uh, scored to make it a one possession game, Midland uh, just uh, pounded it the length of the field. And uh, it's racking up huge uh, rushing yardage. So here we go. Now it's Dow's turn. 10.03 remaining in the contest. Schwartz, he's going to kick this one deep. He's five yards back. When he pooched it, he was about two yards back. Fairly short, going to be fielded at the 10. And. Uh, Good effort Boy, I did but, uh, terrific. by Rizig, but just nowhere to go. Terrific special team coverage by Midland on a kickoff. They do that better than anybody. They really do. They've always had a tremendous always. special team. That teams. kickoff team is just relentless. They take great pride in it. They do a great job of coaching it. And as a coach on the other side, you must recognize that, and you have to say to yourself, all right, I'm going to have a better kickoff return team. First and 10 Chargers, just under 10 minutes to go. A strike, pitches. Soraki trying to get down. He's run out of bounds by Reed. It was a very good gain, though. Good yeah, it was. Play. Good game. About seven on the play. Kind of a little pitch, a middle type play. He does stop the clock by getting out of bounds. All out to, uh, better call it the 30. A strike, barking the signals. It's both ways, there's a flag on the play, it's probably a hold, it's, the pass is complete. And it's a big game for Dow, all the way down the sideline, he finally run out of bounds is rising, but I think this one was gonna come back. It's a hold on Dow. That uh, heavy rush by Midland. Uh, and that is going to drive Dow back inside their 10 yard line. Yeah, because it was in the backfield. Right. It's going to be a, a, a large return. So a big play is going to be negated, but uh, you don't know. The hold may have saved the quarterback. You're right, Coach. All the way to the 10. Wow, big penalty. So Got now you have a first and 20. 
those are a little harder to overcome when you're because your your play calling is limited here, tremendously limited. First and twenty three to be precise, marked ten yards from the spot of the foul. Nine thirty seven remaining. Two backs in the backfield for Dow. It's Doyle and Siraki. Siraki goes in motion. A strike back to pass. Under pressure, down he goes. That's Walker again. Tripped him up at the ankles uh, for the sack. Vaughn Walker uh, spending Von a lot Walker of time in that back. Field. Off that corner. Well, this is just too long a play. You, just, you don't have that much time. There's too much going on here. You can see out in the flat, just the coverage. The, the, there's nothing underneath. It's a great effort on Walker's part. Well, it's been a great effort on Walker, Cam White. Those guys uh, wear, those guys have just been all over the place in there. Clock is running. We're under nine minutes to go. Ball back at the eight yard line. It's third and 26. See if there's some trickeration here for Dow. He's just going to go deep. On back shoulder catch, no good. It's short. Uh, Excellent defense by Servinsky. Yeah, it was Excellent. intended for Perry, but Servinsky all over it. If it had been underthrown, it might have been picked. So. Have you noticed tonight the number of underthrown passes that have occurred? And, and a lot of that's because as a quarterback, you're being rushed. You have you have bodies and arms all over you. Yeah, you and so therefore really you don't have that. It. Yeah, you can't step in and you, you just can't get that that smooth swing in of your arm. Coon back to punt is blocked in the end zone. And it is touchdown, touchdown Kemix. Oh my, what a big special team play for Midland High. Jesse Hayes. I, that I have, was monster play. I have no idea what is going on here because watch how long, watch how long it takes. It's kind of the strategy. Yeah, of, of holding the ball when you're in your end zone. Now watch. He holds on to the ball, holds on to the ball, kicks it off the side. I mean, that's a that, my friend, is a recipe for disaster. Jesse. Kick the ball. Hayes breaks to Kick the inside. The he had been going outside on those punts. He cut inside and was uh, no chance to get the punt off. Extra point is up and good by Schwartz. And the Hayes block punt recovery in the end zone and Midland goes on top 35-14. The mountain just got bigger for Dow. What a big play by Hayes. They had done that kind of delay to try to get the they, coverage they almost got it. They almost got it blocked the last time they did it. Well, what Hayes did differently, he had been rushing outside. This time he cut up on the inside of the blocker and uh, just couldn't be stopped. Really, he more snuffed the punt out than, than laying out to block it. And so uh, the Chemex go on top 35-14. Now it's a three score game. That's really set up by uh, the strong defensive play very by Midland. Good, very good play. The penalty, Pass rush. It, the penalty is what in reality did it. You get a first and 20 and now you can pin your ears back and come after the quarterback. Because you know he's not gonna, they're not gonna run the ball. Well, they can't run the ball. They haven't run the ball all night. Schwartz, booming kick all the way back to the one yard line. It's gonna be returned by Reisick. He's got a little room, but no, he's uh, that great kicker coverage. Inside Again the comes 20. Matt Inside Ware the 20. and Ryan Sasicki um, all over it. Now, Dave, earlier in the game, when we put up the uh, keys to the game, the number one key I said for Dow was what? Score 40 points. Well, they got to score 40. They, they got to right. get moving. You're right, they do. You, you got to score 40 against Midland. 
Easier said than done yes. against this defense. Yes, you got to score 40. You got to have a philosophy of scoring 40. Back to pass. Fires a little high, again under pressure. Um, a little high for uh, Skinner. He was open. He uh, probably could have had the first down yardage, but it will be second and 10. If you take a look at A Strike's throws tonight, they have very little tone on them. There's a lot of wobble to him for, for whatever reason. Now that time, he was set, made a good throw, but the tone is not there tonight. Sometimes, you know, baseball pitchers, they don't have spin on their ball, mm -hmm. and the ball gets hit out of the butt. Well, quarterbacks, when they don't have tone on the ball, uh, they have very little control over it. Third, second and 10. Back to pass, fakes the pit. He's got room to run. Hauled down, it's gonna be short of the first down, the clock will run. Mitch Reed again on the stop. And um, it's Reed as well as Christian Gordon. Gordon shaking up on the play. You have a stinger on his uh, elbow there, it looks like. Another tackle by Reed. Third and two, clock's running, 7.50 to go in the game. This time it's, uh, they changed the quarterbacks and it's gonna be uh, Seitler, Seitler, but nowhere to run. <laughs> Tried to mix it up and uh, put the running quarterback in, but the defense of Midland just, uh, just everywhere tonight. And it's gonna be fourth and two. Dow really has to go for it here. Seven minutes to go, down by three touchdowns. Gotta convert to have any chance uh, still here in this game. Jordan Kohler, number 20, now in the game for Midland on the defensive front. It's a halfback pass. He's got it, got the first. It's Zeitler, still on his feet, still going. Oh, what a run by Zeitler. Cuts up the middle, all the way out to the 49-yard line. Brendan Doyle with a halfback pass. And Got a it great run Zeitler. by Zeitler. Zeitler comes out of here. There's a little bit of move there. There's the, 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 it was like a wildcat to, Zor to uh, Soraki. Soraki handed off to Doyle. Doyle threw it to uh, the quarterback who was in motion. So that was some trickeration. Millen that, was kind of selling was, out on the run. That was trickery. So it keeps Dow alive. Zeitler still in at quarterback. It's Rocky in motion. The lefty going deep and miscommunication. Wanted Doyle, Doyle went uh, post and uh, Zeitler threw it out. Gamola, number 25 on the coverage. Second and 10 with 6.22 remaining. So A strike back in. Thought that might be. He's the more of the throwing quarterback. A strike back to pass. Fires. No good. Good coverage out there by Sasicki. I've been impressed. Intended for Midlands, Mativa. Midland's coverage has been excellent tonight. Just excellent. Ryan, they're, not, they're not allowing Dow to have easy catches. Ryan Sasicki is a junior. Quite a few juniors playing for Midland. Third and 10, 6.19 to go. It's Zeitler back in at quarterback. Zeitler's got it. He's going to keep it and run. He's got wheels. Here he goes. Got the first. Did not get out of bounds. Well, maybe he did. Stops for the first down anyway. He's got some jets, yes, doesn't he? Does, he does a, that was a good option play, good uh, lead off, or uh, sprint option. I don't think Red there was an option. He was running it. Well, he was, well yeah. <laughs> it was technically an option. He, he but faked, faked a yeah. look at the option. Uh, clock runs. Dow marches down to the 35-yard line. A strike back in at quarterback. 
Back to pass. He's hit as he throws it, and the ball is picked off. And that is going to be Christian Gordon. A strike was drilled when he threw the ball. Well, again, the rush is what causes this. The rush up front causes the pass. He's going to try to get the Skinner on a deep pass. Boom. Skinner is open now, but not now where the safety just sits in the middle of the play. Well, Weyer, he does a great job. Weyer got heavy pressure yeah. and uh, just kind of threw it up there. And Midland takes over at the six yard line. So big turnover now with uh, uh, moving in an attempt to score there, but uh, the turnover gonna make it mighty tough now. Six, 5.57 to go. Money, there he goes. Martin Money with a hole. Being chased down by Siraki. Still on his feet, pushed out of bounds. But a huge gain for Martin Money. I got to believe he is at, uh, he must be over 200 yards today. Absolutely. What a run. Just what exploded. A run. Just got up and into the hole. And you're going to see it in here. He just gets up into this chute. And all of a sudden, he's, he's by everybody. Again, just explosive by the Midland line. He looks at the hole. You'll see him get into that chute and he is gone. Now, he doesn't have the wheels to outrun those guys in the secondary, but he, he does make you pay. They're gonna say he was, yeah, he was out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Huge gain from the six. First and 10, Chemex. Money again. Not much room that time. Good defensive play by the Dow front. It is going to, uh, the clock will run here. Five and a half to go. He's going to, probably no gain. Maybe half a yard. But Midland will uh, gladly just let that clock run right now. Offensive line for Midland, James Harris. Gage Alanez, Joe Cullinane, Ethan Vollmering, and Cam White getting it done. Pitch left. And uh, still on his feet. Finally brought down. That is uh, Caden Jacobs, the junior. You know, Caden Jacobs doesn't get much play because money is such a, a powerful player, but I really like this play. I think next year he's going to be a star. He's got all the potential. He's got the size and he's got the speed. He's got the quickness and the agility. I think he's going to be a real star. Down to the 26, 444 going and see the replay and uh, got nine. It's uh, third and a short one. Clock runs. Metner is just going to let the clock run. He'll watch the the back judge until he uh, gives the signal that there's five seconds remaining on the play clock. Snaps it. Jacobs again. He's got the first down. Drives ahead. Going to gain see, about five. See, that was a, a pretty good run by Jacobs where he got in there and he, he took on the uh, the block, the tackler, and ran in there. So yards after the hit. Watch the yards after the hit that's right in there. So we're going to see the hit occur right here. Now watch. The leg's still driving. you got to love a back like that. Yards after the, after the hit. So we're at the four-minute mark. Midland driving to the 22. Trying to put a nail in the coffin here. Money up the middle again. There he goes. Martin Money into the end zone. Touchdown, Chemex. Well, there's that nail. There is the nail we just and, mentioned. Okay. That's now 40. That's going to be 42. 
You know, 40 wouldn't have been enough. 40 wouldn't have been enough. This is just the same right up the middle, offensive line, blown open the hole. Bit. Good block by Jacobs. And uh, he wasn't really touched. Did a good job no, cutting just, to the left. He makes beautiful cuts. Finds open space, and he knows where the end zone is, like you often say. Extra point, up and good. Midland high, 42, <laughs> Dow, 14. We are seeing a dominant performance by a Midland High team against a good Dow High team. A really good team. Dow team. I mean, we're looking at a, a team that at this point has an opportunity to go uh, deep into the playoffs. And Dow, who's going to be in the playoffs, has got a, got a rebound. They've, got, they've, got a, they've been shell-shocked tonight. Both teams 7-1 and one coming in. Fifth time in the history of this rivalry. That has happened, and uh, this time um, I will Midland say, has really dominated I, the game. I will say this. Midland has been tempered by fire, and that fire was Lapeer yeah. and Davison. Those two games right there, Bay City Central, those games in there, uh, you know, they, they, they make you a better football team. Well, I was just about to say that the 7-1 and one for Midland, and if you look at three – Two of the last three weeks were against really high caliber, tough teams, and Midland handled both of them. And uh, it's been a tremendous defensive you know, performance. Midland, and Midland is playing with such a high level of confidence yeah. right now. Kick fielded at the one, fumbled. Going to try to bring it out, but the oh, good return down the sideline. There he goes, and. Oh, he's hit, but he's still on his feet. Chase Perry's going to take it the distance. All the way. What a return. It was good coverage, and he stayed in bounds, broke tackles, and goes the distance. 99-yard kickoff return for Chase Perry. Well, you know what? We, we do <laughs> no know that. No quitting down, that's for sure. We do know that Chase Perry, he's got wheels. And yeah, he, he's he got showed some every one of them right here. Every single one of them. Thought he was going to be Makes pinned a cut down. right there. Great, great pinball action right there. Bounces off, and now he turns it on. Yeah, he's, he's another one that knows where the end zone is. So, 42-20. Extra point is good. Well, could we see a miracle here? Dow's going to have to do the onside kick. Don't have any chance, really. So, a big special teams play of their own by the Chargers. We, we rarely see that against Midland where right. something happens on the kickoff. So, the hands team will be out there for Midland, no doubt about that. So we'll probably see Money out there, we'll probably see Grove out there. We got Servinsky. Richard, number three. Gordon Reed. Joshua Campbell. So Zach Kuhn will try the it's a good kick. Ball's loose, and it's covered by Midland. Boy, Dow had a chance. Yeah, had a couple chances in there. It was loose for a while, but uh, recovered by Grove. This had a nice little bounce in here, and the Dow guys get down there, but they just don't Excellent kick. get on it. Yeah, it really takes a crazy bounce here. 
So Dow has two timeouts. Down by three touchdowns. You try, you try to tell your uh, onside team they got to go hard. They mm -hmm. they got to. Go, there's no Hit walking. People. You got to go hard. Ball carrier is uh, Jacobs. Jacobs. Yeah. We're going to see a little steady dose of Jacobs and maybe a little break for uh, Martin. Yeah, Monday. I think you're right. Money got dinged up a little bit, but uh, Jacobs, like you said, very capable. Really, they just need to hang on to the football. Three-yard gain. Clock ticks away. We're at the three-minute mark in the game. time it's money there he goes there goes money still on his feet kicks it out left mark money with huge chunks again or run out of bounds Martin but money holy is having moly. some kind of game tonight isn't he he's gonna come off in here make it two cuts and then get down that sideline he might be pushing three in oh here. he's just running beautifully he gets up in the shoot spot. now watch the cut cuts in and then out and then out again. He is having a monster <laughs> game. Oh my. You gotta like the fact that the, the offensive line is downfield on almost every run play. Getting into the secondary and making blocks. Jacob, the carrier that time. Jacobs was a, a step away from breaking that one. He picks up his three yards. It's like he did this, or the last series. We're at 225. And uh, that was two timeouts, but you're going to have to stop him here to really try to use one. And then he'll be content just to eat the clock. Impressive performance by the Chemex. I didn't really didn't know what to expect coming into this game. Neither coach. did I. I this this has been a dominant show by Midland High. Jacobs again spins. He's going to get three or four more, maybe five, maybe six. He kind of kept spinning ahead. Ativa on the tackle. He'll bring up third and. Four minute and a half to go. Midland gets the first down. They'd be able to probably take a knee. Well, no, not really. Dow has two timeouts. Time it's money. Picks his way ahead. Dives ahead to move the chains. First down. Great effort by Martin Money. He knew where the sticks were. I will say yeah. this. Dow will not use their timeouts. Yeah. They, Dow by three scores. No, they will not use their timeouts. So Midland uh, is going to bring in their second unit now. Get some guys in to play here in the Midland Dow game. Good move by Metner, I absolutely, think. Absolutely, absolutely. So these are two really well coached teams. And this tonight it was Midland's night. Jacobs, the quarterback. He's gonna keep it. Runs up in for the score. Jacobs with the touchdown. I told you, Jacobs, knows, Jacobs is going to be a player. Put him in at quarterback there. I wonder if he, he's, uh, he's the backup quarterback. Okay. Can he be quarterback next year or running back, I wonder. Might depend on their where they're at with their JB. But, wow, Coach, 48. I did not really expect somebody to score 48 points tonight. I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. Well, obviously, said, you said Dow needed I, 40 to win. Dow obviously needed 40 to win. I, I thought it, these, these, 
See, Midland just keeps at you. They keep at you. They, you you got to match them up every, every possession. And see, every possession you have to fight for. And, and Dow didn't have the fight tonight. Midland had the fight tonight. Schwartz for the extra point. And that one's good. 49-21. 35 seconds to go. And uh, Midland is going to uh, come away with this one. And they're going to snap the four-game skid uh, to the Chargers and claim their 35th city title game. And... Uh, just a, uh, yeah, just a great performance. What can you say? Coach Metner, who started as head coach of Midland back in 2008, will improve to seven and five against the Chargers. Now, both teams are gonna be in the playoffs. Right. Having this happen in the past to me, losing this game and you're in the playoffs, it is so hard to get ready for the next week. Yeah. Well, very similar situation in 2015. Dow won 49-28, you may remember. A yes, very similar right, score. Right. And then came back and uh, won the very next week 42-7, just what you were saying. So pooch kick, they're not going to give uh, uh, Dow another chance. They don't want to see Chase Perry return another one there. Well, the thing that you have is if Dow doesn't play Midland, uh, Dow will be at 7-2. and two. They might be... The third team, Midland, might be the, the the one team or the two teams. So they they may not play each other. It is so hard to come back and uh, from this. It, it, Dow it, has to hope they play Midland in order to get that mojo back a little yeah. bit. But you're, yeah, the it is tough playing the same team two weeks yes, in a row. Is. Yes, it is. Dow's going to take a knee here, and uh, that is going to do it. So, the uh, highly anticipated matchup by, between the uh, respective champs of their divisions in the Saginaw Valley League, and tonight was Midland High's night. Just a dominant performance on defense. Frankly, dominant on offense. Absolutely. 49 points. And special teams. Block punt for a touchdown on special teams. Uh, the, the offensive and defensive lines for Midland uh, just uh, imposed their will on Dow tonight. But we will look at some highlights here um, from this one as, as the uh, two teams shake hands and uh, congratulate each other. Coach Watkins at the end congratulating uh, Cade Metner. And now we're ready for our highlights. Take a look here. Versus the run by Metner getting up into the chute. That's where he stripped, and, though, and by And now Mativa. he's stripped and run, and Mativa gets the ball back, and, and Dow's in business a little bit. And that put a little light, ray of light in there for Dow. Good job. And then uh, this was on third and long. Metner tried to go deep. And it's an interception by Doyle. Doyle. Second of the game. Had one in the end zone in the first half, and then this one with the big return really set up. It was really a good return. Set up a score for Dow. Let's see here, they're going to go deep to Skinner. Back shoulder pass, and Skinner did a good job of twisting, catching it, and uh, fighting into the end zone. I'm not sure that was a back shoulder pass. Again, they had that, that wobble to it that uh, presents a problem. There's Metner uh, with the touchdown run, and here's the big play that really yeah, kind of sealed this, the game. See, this, that was the play right there. The block kick in the end zone. That was the nail in the coffin we were talking about. Jesse Hayes, number 31, huge play. Yeah, this, this is an interception by um, uh, Gordon. Gordon. Christian Gordon. This uh, is a real this run. Is be money. This is money on a real run. I mean, this is just money. We don't have official stats just yet, but uh, Martin Money 
with a monster game. There he, he goes again. He runs through tackles. He runs through tackles. He's the definition of a beast. This is the kickoff return by Chase Perry here. He gets up, he gets up along the sideline and uses his speed. And now the good try by the kicker, but you got to tackle somebody. That's a great return by Perry. Really an excellent run. And this, this is the run by Jacobs, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, yep, Jacobs in. They have put in the second unit there and uh, Jacobs uh, took that in for our final score, 49-21. An amazing night here at Midland Stadium. A gorgeous night, packed house. Uh, we're figuring it had to be at least 8,000 here at tonight. Least, at and least. Uh, beautiful night. Treated to uh, just a celebration of football. And uh, this time it's Midland High coming on out on top. I mentioned that it was the 48th city title game. Coach said you've been to all but one of all them. All but one. Amazing. Um, just a. Uh, just a great night here in Midland every single year um, between these great rivals and uh, guys you know, that you know, grow Dave, up playing each other. Even though I'm not coaching any longer, I was excited this week for this game. Oh, I thought this was going to be a great game. And and really, in, in, in retrospect, looking back, it was a great game. But it was a dominant game for Midland. Uh, Dow just, they didn't bring their A game tonight. Now, will they rebound? I don't know. I hope so. But next week uh, is playoff week. Sunday they decide who plays who. Uh, very well, we could see the same two teams here next week with Midland being the home team. Well, it's a well-coached team. You know Jason Watkins will have his team uh, ready to roll. And so will Coach Metner. You can see the uh, Chemic fans uh, on the field celebrating the 35th uh, city championship for the Chemics. And uh, we will... Uh, Wait and see what happens for playoff time. And uh, if well, we get a chance, we we'll hope to bring you some more action in the postseason. But uh, it's been an amazing regular season for both these teams, 7-1 and one coming in. Um, our final score tonight, again, Midland High 49, Dow 21. Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore, thrilled to bring you all the action this season and tonight. And we will see you next time, folks. Good night, everybody.